so obviously it's a very creepy show <laughs> with the, between the doll and the house. Um, is there, how was that the challenge for you working on set in particular, Lauren? Um, well, I don't know. We're not really aware of it being creepy. <laughs> I mean, I guess you have like the scary silicone baby doll, but yeah. you, you know, it, it, you, we're, I mean, we're just the actors. You're, you're not the actor, Tony, but I, you know, me, <laughs> the rest of us over here are the actors, and we're just playing it real. And I think mm. that's actually what's really cool about this. It's like we're we're doing this story about this family that's in tragedy, and I'm, you know, pretending the doll is a real person and everything. But yeah. then. Tony and Knight and all of these amazing artists who, you know, the set designer and the composer and everybody's working to make this swirling, chaotic, supernatural environment mm. underneath that. And that's, that's, to me, what's so cool. So we're not, we are, over here aren't really operating <laughs> on that plane. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask a little bit about the mystery around the baby. Obviously, it's very central. Um, Tony, how much of this is definitive in your mind or are you still working on it as you develop each season um it's it's both it's you know it, there's a there's a goal mm. to reach and it's always a work in progress so you know as long as i know where ultimately we're going to go and you know knight and i have had those discussions endlessly about what does this show mean why are we telling this story and where are we going to end it mm. once you got that in place you know every step on the journey is a discovery and it, it, it's fun and if it wasn't that way i wouldn't want to write it you know, so you find something new in every episode that kind of sparks another thought for the next episode. And so it's it's building as you go. Mm. I never believe people that say they've got every episode mapped out for five years. I just think, yeah, well, you did all your work in one day and <laughs> yeah. then you sat back and didn't do anything else for five years. It's, you know, <laughs> that, that doesn't make sense to me. It's it's constantly growing and, you know, and also when we're on set and when we're, we're watching the episodes cut together and we see the performances, you know, I'll see something in a scene between... Lauren and Toby, for example, that makes me realize, you know what, this couple's got something else in them. You know, there's mm -hmm. something I haven't explored about them that just seeing them together gives you that idea for season two. You know, I think I kind of want to show this. I kind of want to explore that part of this relationship. So it's it's constantly moving ahead. Yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, Lauren, do you have much input in the script as well and working with Tony? Or? No, not at all. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> No, and that's what I love. You know, we treat the script like very seriously, and mm. and frankly, every detail. So you know, Knight famously works in a, a meticulously designed. You know, st each each shot is storyboarded, and yeah. and there's a lot of planning and preparation that goes in. And part of that is digging into the text, and uh, I I really like that. I like taking uh, each word seriously, and it also means that you know you know it also has to do with the. The format, you know, we're doing this half-hour yeah. thriller, so there's really no fat on the bone, and mm. um, every word means something, and uh, nothing is casual, you know. Um, so, so yeah, so <laughs> I, I, I like, I like getting to take the words seriously, which isn't always the the situation on on the telly. Not always with television, but yeah, I think everyone approaches it with that kind of movie mentality. I think that's what one of the things Knight brings to it. You know, mm. his, his background is so much in yeah, making movies that he just brings that onto the set as well. And yeah, it's, I mean, it's weird to even call it a television show because it's like filmmaking. It's Knight's style of very high level filmmaking told in this long form story, you know, yeah. with mm. many installments of, uh, you know, little films about these this family you know yeah, i feel like we're all kind of um encouraged to break rules with yeah. this at the moment particularly with working with people like apple who are so new into the game in a mm. sense that you know the rules haven't been established for us yeah. to follow necessarily if we come up with something that they're gonna like then that becomes the rule you know yeah. th there's yeah. something really exciting about working like that and they hired cool people and they seem to make space and time for the people to these artists to do their work so i mean yeah, that's a very important. luxurious way uh to work yeah absolutely um, i want to ask you both is there anything you're particularly proud of like one particular scene or moment perhaps in the first season i mean like particularly episode nine stood out to me a lot personally yeah for me yeah. that was that was a really great time for to work you know i loved night directed that episode it was so shocking and and beautifully written and scary to approach as an actor and uh but you know those were those are definitely that chunk of time i think of as that like crackling you know 
crazy stuff was happening and yeah. magical things were happening. Yeah, so. absolutely. I, you know, for me, that was a moment where I tried to stay away as much as possible. No, I mean, genuinely, yeah. because watching Lauren's performance and knowing that Knight was directing, I, you know, I could very much step back and just trust in what they were doing, and I really didn't want to see it. And even when it was cut together, for the first cut, I really didn't want to <laughs> watch it. But, you know, so that, and also in episode eight, watching Rupert, yeah, Rupert Brent in episode eight, you know, it's kind of, it's so transformative, the way he, the way he takes that episode by the scruff of the neck and pulls you through it. It's, you know, that was, that was a huge, revelation for me as well so i think every all the cast members have got an episode wherein they yeah. they absolutely shine and you know lauren and nine is kind of you know it's wow well thanks for the opportunity tony well thank you for <laughs> <laughs> the performance laura <laughs> um is there anything you can tease about season two i know season one hasn't finished Aaron, of course but <laughs> just for those who are going to try gonna and... be one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There'll be a season two. <laughs> Somehow, somewhere. No, there is going to be one. Um, yeah, I, you know, I don't think to tease it, tease it, then I'm trapped into a box and I have to deliver that. I, True. You know, we haven't the, even started filming it yet. Yeah. No, we, you know, we, we start soon, but there are scripts and, you know, it's constantly in pro a work in progress with this. And, yeah, it's just fun to come back to these characters and, you know, to push them to a point and then, and then push them further, you know, and... You know, mm. there's 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 something about writing characters where you feel like they have a life of their own that they're going to guide you as much as I can guide them. So it's a you know it's an interesting kind of moment in this show. 